Hey guys, thank you for tuning in for another video on the Ford Bronco. It hasn't even been 24 hours yet and this vehicle's already broken the internet. Literally. Ford's website saw so much traffic last night that it crashed, preventing some people from ordering the new Bronco. I'm being told everything is up and running now. While Ford hasn't released any figures yet on the deposits, a Ford spokesman said, and I quote, we were stampede for sure. So is the Ford Bronco sold out? Not technically. However, the first edition reservations are now full. The first edition is a limited production Ford Bronco with 3,500 examples to be made. What did it take to reserve this particular model or actually any model? Actually, it's just a $100 refundable deposit. The first edition's pricing started at $60,800 for the two-door version and just under $65,000 for the four-door version, exactly $64,995. I want to take a second to talk real quick about the key features of the first edition. The first edition came with many different packages from the other packages you can get for the Ford Bronco, including what they call the Sasquatch, excuse me, the Sasquatch package, which includes 35-inch tires, a 17-inch beadlock wheel, and a 4.7 final drive ratio. You also can get a black painted match hardtop with a matching painted grille and side view mirror, as well as the first edition gets its own hood and body side graphic. So let's actually talk about why is the new Bronco doing so well and why is there so much hype? In my opinion, it's actually quite simple. I think this is the real first competition for the Jeep Wrangler in a long time. Yes, there's been some other examples that came out, like the Toyota FJ Cruiser that did very well, but just didn't have the sales numbers to really compete with the Jeep. So, really, in my opinion, the Jeep Wrangler has been dominating its own special segment for years. Um, so, the question then becomes, is Jeep actually concerned for a Ford Bronco? Well, let me say this. They're concerned enough to introduce a concept, which is the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. That's right, 392. Now, if you're a Mopar guy like myself, you know what that is. Let me tell you what it is if you're not. That's basically them shoving a 6.4 liter Hemi engine into a Jeep Wrangler. I actually did a whole video on this. I'll put a link in the description yesterday about the release of the new Ford Bronco and Jeep's response with the, the uh, 392 Jeep. Make sure you check it out. So was there any hype like this before with like the Ford Bronco? Well, actually, yeah. The C8 Corvette had a lot of hype. It's done very, very well and actually did sell out. C8 Corvette being Corvette's first time ever making a mid-engine sports car at also a very competitive price, baseline, baseline price of $60,000, which is kind of where the Bronco's doing so well. You can get a base Bronco for under $30,000. Um, only time will tell to see how the new Bronco will sell and how it will do, but I personally think the new Ford Bronco is going to sell like freaking hotcakes. Um, that's sort of it for my video. It's a short video. I just want to talk about, you know, what's been going on less than 24 hours and how well these things are selling or really the reservations that are being made on them. So tell me what you think below. Are you ordering the new Ford Bronco? And if you did, what did you get? What color did you get? What do you think of the new front Ford Bronco? Are you still a Mopar guy? Do you still prefer the Jeep Wrangler? Comment below. And obviously, this kind of goes without saying anymore. If you thought this video was half decent, I'd greatly appreciate you smashing the like button. You already know how this works for YouTubers. Go ahead and smash it. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to consider subscribing for more content, also, great idea. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this video up. You guys have a phenomenal day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.